What's up? It's Auto Handles, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Obi Toppin. Before I can begin, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Now, with all that out of the way, let's begin. In the 2020 NBA Draft, the New York Knicks selected Obi Toppin as pick number eight. During Toppin's rookie year, he was struggling. This came as a surprise because most analysts predicted that Toppin would come into the league as an immediate high-level contributor. But that just wasn't the case. In fact, he averaged an underwhelming 4.1 points, 0.5 assists, 0.3 steals, and 2.2 rebounds per game on 30.6% from 3 and 49.8% from the field. While I do believe that Obi should take accountability for his disappointing rookie year, there are some reasons to back him up. The first reason is that he played significantly better defenders than he did at Dayton. NBA centers are typically stronger and have a better feel for the game. The second reason is that the offensive system was obviously unfamiliar for Toppin in New York. At Dayton, he was a dominant post scorer. This is one of the areas in this game that he thrives in, so why not take full advantage of it? The last reason is that there was a lot of pressure put upon him. He was playing at Madison Square Garden. I can't really blame him for being a little shaken up. When the Knicks lottery pick hits the floor, they're expected to impact the game immediately. No questions asked. However, the potential was there for Toppin. He just failed to be an impactful player in year one. To tell you what I mean, Obi Toppin's season high in points was only 12. His consistency was not apparent, and while he did show signs of potential, it wasn't enough to make up for it. He even gave fans hope that he could become a stretch big, as in college, Obi Toppin shot 39% from three on 2.6 three-point attempts per game. At stretches, he was knocking down the three ball and looked more confident than ever. But the very next game, he would go back to barely managing the score. However, Toppin wasn't afraid to showcase his powerful slashing ability. As in his rookie year, he shot 69.5% from within 3 feet or less. Obi Toppin is the Knicks' best raw athlete, and when he runs the floor with confidence, he's unmatchable. Toppin even said, I just know if we have the rebound, I am taking off. I feel like I'm pretty fast, so I feel like some guys on the other teams get back very slowly, and I take advantage of that. So, listening to this quote, it sounds like Toppin is aware that he puts his team in a good place when he runs the floor, and I hope he can continue doing so. Hard work results in easy buckets, and I'm glad to see that Toppin understands that. An improvement that I would like to see Toppin make is his defense. Despite his physical and natural gifts, he's not a standout defender. He moves his feet slowly and struggles against big centers in the paint, even with his immense strength. I'd really like to see Toppin improve because during his rookie year, the Knicks had one of the worst defenses in the league. But the blame can also be given to the coaching staff, as they didn't fit the pieces around Toppin to help him on that side of the ball. But what do you think? Is Obi Toppin a bust? Tell me in the comment section below. Until next time, peace.